Good morning, gamers. Welcome to your daily dose of the Safety Third Podcast, <laughs> the new daily podcast. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> Imagine doing this. this <laughs> every single every day. day. God. Wait, yes, did we just dear. swear within the first 15 seconds? Did we? Did I just swear? No, oh, I did. no. I said the S word. Oh. Can we just cover it up with the sound of a, the a turtle having sex with a shoe? Sort of. Okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. please. Oh, my God. I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> Well, there goes the daily podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's not. It's gonna take. Well, now so long that we've cracked the seal, we can say anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's been 15 seconds, so now we can say all the naughty words. <laughs> we God need a forbid. big, like a like a shot clock over there <laughs> for when the podcast starts, so we can really, really time it. Once we're like 0.01 percent into the podcast, we can say bad words. <laughs> oh God! Why do you have tortillas? Um. Well. I don't know. They were on the seat, oh. and so I sat down in the seat, and I was like, I didn't want to put them on the ground. So I put threw them away perfectly good tortillas in our dumpster. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I would have assumed that someone was saving the seat using those, except that this is our set, and so I don't know who <laughs> could have possibly been wanting to save that seat and for what purpose. They're still good for a month, too. They're not even expired. Are these the extra thin ones? I don't or know. just the normal ones? Is there a difference? They make... So this brand, they make like thinner than normal ones so they have less calories those are the ones oh. that i get who's yeah. eating tacos to save calories me <laughs> but then they're oh, too thin so, so you need two of them because well, so though you see apart. this one each of these tortillas is 50 calories i think the extra skinny ones are like 40 actually 40 40 oh <laughs> yeah wow okay i'm gonna be real i never looked at the the regular size ones to compare i just assumed that i was getting a good deal you on remember the when ones. you were on your workout kick and you lost a bunch of weight what happened yeah. to that alan uh i stopped working out and then I gained a bunch of weight. I don't know if the two things are correlated, but no. that's the order that it happened in. <laughs> Do you, what, what, uh, <laughs> you can hold the tortillas now. I was really into it though. I was yeah. like counting macros and shit. Like, oh, and you just got kind of bored of it. Shit. Yeah, we can say shit now. Yeah, okay. I just, it was like, I think I, I like, I, I was like, I deserve a little bit of a break. And so a week <laughs> kind of turned into years. like a couple of years. <laughs> I'm still on that break, but I can go back any day now. You deserved it. <laughs> Did you ever go through like a workout kick, Will? I feel I, like everybody does. I used to something. work out in like college. Like some of my, mm. all my friends were super into uh, working out. And one of them, it's Chase. My friend Chase, who oh, is in Alan's video. Oh, is he still into working out? <laughs> Dude, is he's he? <laughs> so big. He, this guy, like, he oh, can't put a giant knife? Yeah. Like, he, he can't put his hands yeah. above his yeah. head. Yeah, so he did the giant he was Yeah, but he could, sword. like, I would trade, like, putting my hands over my head to be able to wield the giant sword mm, because, like, true. it's it was like the, the, um, the, the, what's the, the, the show with the superheroes and it's a cartoon um, and uh, it's the Jimmy Neutron, Omni-Man. Boy um, uh, Invincible. Invincible. Oh, or, yeah. like, the meme where it's like, look at what the, they look, have to yeah. do for a, <laughs> a fraction, fraction of our, of our power. power. <laughs> like, I was the fraction of Chase's power where I, like, built that whole exoskeleton and then he just, like, lifted the sword up. If it makes you feel better, his bones are just as small as yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. In an x-ray, we're all equal. <laughs> the cosmic race, yes, all the same. <laughs> you think having more mask, it gives you a higher probability of getting cancer in like a x-ray It's machine? supposed to be the opposite. Really? really? There's something... Um, uh, this is one of those things where it's like I probably should have watched the video, but I did see a thumbnail and a title uh, implying that bigger animals get less cancer. I didn't click the video, but I thought it was an interesting idea. Oh, right, this is this is like a Reddit moment. <laughs> but but that's like different animals. That's like a horse compared to like right, yeah, like a giraffe or like a whale. They or also something. die pretty young. Yeah, too, a horse right? compared to like a Not zebra. Like a whale or a could live to be like donkey. a donkey, million years old. And they don't get cancer. I don't. Th I don't know. Liberty, I really. Liberty, could you do some research? Liberty, can you watch a quick video yeah. for us and do then whales get cancer? The... <laughs> also, we, the same question from earlier of, of do uh, how whales big have are areolas? whales' areolas? Because they must have areolas if they have nipples, right? Otherwise, yeah. how would well, it? No, it's just have... like a protrusion. There's no flange. Like, like your ear. Oh, well, or your nose. It's like a nose nipple. Yeah, yeah. that's horrifying. I think. I would oh. like a oh. Oh, she found oh. something. What is it? There's an O. Oh. Because of their mass, they should have a near certainty that they get cancer. Yeah. But for whatever reason, they don't. What do you mean okay. for whatever reason? I think they they don't it's don't probably get cancer. like a blasphemy thing. We do more blasphemy, and so we get more cancer. <laughs> yeah. We sin. Whales. We are sin pure. more than yeah. whales. Whales are more pure than us. I mean, there's no whale Jesus, right? So obviously, <laughs> there, there was be. never. Was there a whale? <laughs> I don't Jesus? know. 
I don't know. I don't really know enough about whales or <laughs> Jesus to know if there could have been a whale Jesus. I know there's in 21 Jump Street there was a Korean Jesus. That's true. There is one for every race. So I'm assuming That's, there's got to be a whale Jesus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is a there like is a Family Guy bit or something. <laughs> whale Jesus. I'm pretty sure there is an official like like Catholic Pope stance on like aliens and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure like there is an actual like something written about like are aliens covered by Jesus's sacrifice and original sin and all that. I think they are. I think yeah. they're kind of I think Disney or it. someone did a movie about this about dogs going to heaven. Which one? Do all dogs Was it Disney? That wasn't Disney. It was I, yeah, think... I think that yeah, that was based off of the Pope's decree okay. that all dogs uh, I think go what to was heaven. the answer? Yeah. No, it was dogs go to I remember I think there's a hell scene in the movie. Oh, oh you're right. There yeah. were were cats in it was that? I don't, know. I don't know. I never considered that. That the title of the movie is "All Dogs Go to Heaven." There's but an implication. There were definitely hell dogs. Yeah. Ooh. So that means the dog gets sent to hell. But only if it. There's no way Disney. It's not. There's it's no a, way it's a Disney movie. <laughs> only if it's a bad dog. But like, there's no bad dogs, right? <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> what it comes down to is, I don't know if Chase gonna has do cancer gonna do, or not. You know? If Chase was a whale, he would not have cancer. Okay, I think that's mm. the answer I was that's looking for. The, the most reasonable. But answer. would he have areolas? <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Is there any? Any word on that? Be a picture. We gave you a solid five minutes. We've been going in circles for five minutes waiting for these whale areola pictures. You, yeah, <laughs> can we get like a whale nip slip pic? Yeah. Um, is there? You can only avoid this for so long, There's Liberty. We're coming back. Literally, the, the algorithm does has no idea what this is, and it will not punish us for showing this. <laughs> I love the idea. What's like the most inappropriate stuff we can show that the YouTube algorithm will have no idea how to interpret? Is that a... What is, what is that? It looks God, like it does, a genital. It does look like a nose. Yeah. Wait, is that a... Is that a whale's part? Is that a, a whale's... Blowhole? Areola hole? Well, I just said a nose because it's like something that protrudes, but there's no... Is it... Do they have little noses where their nipples are supposed to be? Wow. But it kind of does look Liberty, how hard could it be There's to find a There's a lot of nipple? landscape rotation issues going on with that zooming phone. zooming in. What is that? No, what that's is that? That looks like no. a vagina. That's, it, that's, it looks like a harpoon that wound healed poorly. That can't be a nipple. Is that a nipple? No. Is it? Are you sure? That's a okay. nipple? What? Wow. Wait. That... How does that work? It looks like a belly button, like a cursed belly button. Oh, it's sucking on the thing. Well, that's oh how my it works. gosh! It's like the little baby. It like, oh, like an oxygen mask. Yeah, exactly. The nose it goes, goes in, and holy shit! I mean, for aerodynamics, we could literally we could go buy an oxygen mask and we could make like a faux whale nipple. Yeah! Wow! I'm so glad that humans don't do it that way. That would be uh, <laughs> horrifying. Like a whole little... It's just like this giant. <laughs> It's like the shape of a, like a face inverted into it. Yeah, I guess all all cetaceans have any type nipples, like severely any, and you they have to shove your baby dolphin nose into it, and it forms a seal so that they're drinking milk and not seawater. That makes a lot of it sense. Took us actually. nine minutes to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a new record. <laughs> all right, Liberty, can you find the weirdest picture of a different animal's nipple? Oh, I think kangaroo nipples are cursed. Liberty, could you find a picture of a kangaroo nipple? Are they in the pouch? Us? Yeah, so they're in the pouch, and I think they're really long. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Like a Slim Jim long? Like, yeah, yeah, I think it... Oh. Well, well, because, like, you know, I mean, they don't even make any sense. The whole, like, have you ever looked up a video of a kangaroo giving birth? I have not. No. Because, okay, well... <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Have you ever looked up <laughs> yes, a video? Yes, <laughs> yes, I have, because they're marsupials, right? And so, like, you don't really think about what that means. Like, the, the, the baby kangaroo finishes its development in the pouch that right means, it's like a sous vide yeah but there's there's a moment in between Just where put on a simmer the kangaroo gives birth to a baby kangaroo but it's it's essentially a fetus it doesn't even have back legs at that point oh yeah Jesus you Christ, see that they are long. so the oh <laughs> that's that gives the nipple birth to that and yes that it, thing comes out of the vagina or birth canal or whatever you want to call it for a marsupial. How does and it get in? It has to climb with two undeveloped front legs and zero back legs. It's like a red little fucking jelly bean. Oh it my has God. to climb up the belly's front on the fur and the mom just watches it the whole time, doesn't do anything. <laughs> and it has to crawl into the pouch and then its mouth, yeah. it doesn't just suckle on that long ass nipple. Like seals to it? it like organically like attaches and like it finishes human developing. human centipede. 
Like, that is the gift of fucking human women having, like, placenta and a uterus and, like, wow. all that stuff. is like, you can develop everything at once and then it comes out done. A marsupial is, they like... just put it in a bag. It's, like, two different stages. <laughs> like a to-go bag. Yeah, except it's it'd be, like, a to-go bag if your meal wasn't cooked yet. <laughs> so that, um, that's all in one video. Yeah. That one video shows all that? Yeah. What... I have a question. Why were you looking for that video? I'm I'm not not judging or anything. I'm just curious. As you know how it is, just it was like you saw something on Reddit yeah. or something, yeah, and then look into it. You just you know. I guess we didn't get the we, itch. Yeah, the urge. And I'm pretty sure all the marsupials, like you know, koalas and possums and all, like they all have to do the same thing. They crawl into yeah. their like second stage womb, basically. Yeah, I really, that, like, so I, that really, I really went on a know? tangent there, guys. Sorry about that. I feel like that I learned like, a lot. Things that yeah. I, I'm not sure I would have had the courage to Google. That's what Liberty is here for. <laughs> yeah, so so any, that, I feel like we could do and all the things we're afraid to do ourselves. We're going to ask Liberty to look up. Yeah, yeah. So uh, is, is that the longest nipple that there is or are there are, longer yes. ones? There she goes. Thank she you, Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find the world's longest nipple, please? We asked for the world's longest nipple, not the world's longest eye roll, Liberty. <laughs> is that the title of this podcast, The World's Longest Nipple? And it's just a picture of Alan shirtless Photoshop. Do we have, I mean, I don't Do we have calipers? Do we want to see whose nipples? I do. Are? I have really small nipples. I'm going to go I don't. I'm not sure the calipers are going to be much help. I'm going to go no. ahead right now and say that mine are really... Not yeah. not sticking out very much. No, at yours all. are bigger than mine. I'm not sure. I think no, you'd have but we're going measuring. for length, not circumference. Yeah, the problem is, is I think you'd have trouble even figuring out how to measure it. Not yours. Yours is pretty yeah, obvious. Yeah, I got a little bump what are you there. cooking up? I'm cooking up. You know. I'm... <laughs> I feel like we should be charging money to show this. Yeah, this is a Patreon. Oh, extra. okay. Yeah, blur it for, except for the patrons. Then how's that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's oh, three cents. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's a pretty healthy length. What does that mean? <laughs> You're gonna have not, to find not out. Not too long, not too short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this feels like a good segue to talk about people in in your life that you know have long nipples. But I also feel like I it would be like Joe Rogan. He's got you seen that picture Re of Joe really Rogan? Long nipples. Does yeah. he have long nipples? Oh my god, I have yeah, yeah, seen yeah. that. I haven't yeah. seen it. It's, it's, do they look like kangaroo nipples? I think that yeah, <laughs> maybe a little longer. <laughs> Is that picture real? Liberty, can you look up the picture of Joe Rogan's nipples? <laughs> is, yeah, is that picture of of they pulled Joe, out Joe Rogan, Rogan real? Yeah, this is a picture of Joe Rogan getting out of like a hot tub or something, and he has these just like like, oh my god, like what's what's the little like, like the like hot dog noodles? Mm, hot no, dog? what's the oh, little the gel, the gel candies like the hot hot tamales or the other ones, Mike's, I, Mike Mike Mike's or Mike oh Mike's? okay yeah 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 okay. jelly belly. I don't well, know if they're actually Swedish that big, but when kind of when way. you see when you see abnormally large ones, that's kind of what you just they feel much bigger than they actually are. It's just something like it's like an uncanny valley. You're like, that's not right. That can't be real. Ooh. They're real. There's an ooh, yeah. What happened? People are saying it's probably because of the steroids. It's steroids. probably because of the steroids. Do steroids make your nipples longer? If you gave a kangaroo steroids, would its nipples become even Liberty? Can longer? you can you look this up for us, Liberty? Yeah. Can you? Um, could a whale have a six pack? Liberty. Could I know kangaroos do. Yeah, yeah, like they're a, ripped. one really muscular kangaroo. They only come in that flavor, like <laughs> super ripped. Have you seen a kangaroo? Yeah, they yeah. will mess you up. I, I really like never that. in person. <laughs> you ever see that video of the um, the guy who ends up having to box the kangaroo because it's save like his attacking dog. it. It's like got and the he, dog in a headlock. It's like he straight up in an arm bar <laughs> and punches the kangaroo He's like in the face. <laughs> That's the one where it just gets confused and it goes away. Yeah, I love that video. What about the one where the guy's like skydiving and he comes down to land in a field with his parachute and you see this kangaroo coming from like the very edge of the field and it's like, you know, for a full 20 seconds running yeah, towards him. One. And as soon as he touches the ground, the kangaroo just punches him in the face. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that would that'd be such a nightmare. It's like the most vulnerable. You could be yeah. all tied up to the parachute and everything and it's like a wild animal attacking you. The kangaroo just wants to fight. I think that's horrifying. Yeah. I wish Alex was here. I feel like he'd be able to answer a lot of questions here. I feel like you could kangaroos. get him to fight a kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> he would beat a he kangaroo. Would. Yeah. The something about Alex that I've noticed is he's like, like very physically capable. I don't just mean that he's strong because he's really strong. Yeah. But like you can tell him to like do something yeah, like, like like a cup like the cup flip trick yeah like a thing. cup flip trick or it's like you know give him like a crumpled up piece of paper like hey oh yeah throw it into that trash can like mm -hmm. 30 feet from here mark and rober's tennis ball mm, mark rober's tennis nice. ball thank you thank you oh another very physically no that was person. that was luck <laughs> that was, 
I don't know what it is about. He's just like very talented. We were trying to. We were at the the Moist Manor at Charlie's warehouse. Oh, that was my talent. And my secret we, talent. What were we throwing? Was it? It was a water bottle. No, we were trying to. It was remember. a suction cup dildo. Oh, yeah, it was a suction cup Wait, dildo. Then what was the one with the water bottle where we were trying to throw the water bottle up? Maybe it was at the Mr. Beast warehouse. We we're trying oh. to throw the water bottle on top of the vent. And, oh, I don't know. Like about we're trying that to do a water bottle. I was flip. there to see Kevin's dildo stick. That yeah. was okay. amazing. Yeah. It was so. This one was then the Mr. Beast warehouse, and you know when you get like the water bottle with like a quarter of it. Or yeah, yeah. Try and, try flip flip it. It and so I was trying. I was like over and over again trying to like fling it up to the ceiling to get the water bottle to land on top of like the vent oh, box, oh, like the okay. ducting. You know, like where the you got the round yeah, ducting yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the rectangular vent comes out, and then there's like a flat top one. Yeah. Um. Alex just like takes it, flings it up, and like first tries it. And I had been sitting there for like ten minutes trying to do it, and I was like, "All right, this cool <laughs> feels bad, man." Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not physically capable like that. I feel like I like being horizontal and yeah. not moving very much. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. also means that I guess I don't have very developed motor skills. <laughs> Why? Cause it's just, I don't I Do you I, like sports or video games not growing really. up? Really, I like I like video games. Yeah, but like I'm not very good at the the ones that require timing. Mm. Like what Guitar Hero? Did you play like, a lot oh, when yeah. you were a kid? Or not no? really. Your no. parents didn't let you. Like Beat Saber. Yeah, I just never really had like like those sorts of video games. I mean, yeah. we have like what we've got like this Bop It here. <laughs> Michael Reeves <laughs> Bop It. <laughs> <laughs> I love how like this should be like like. An, an artifact like something in a display case and it's, <laughs> it's just actually on the, on the floor. floor next to the other trash Dude, how I many views does that video have i don't know i have so much of his crap you, you got like 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 the the main focus of like a video that 10 million people have seen it's just on the <laughs> just ground, on the ground in here. <laughs> doesn't the even work anymore know your place trash <laughs> <laughs> into the into the pile <laughs> i guess he just didn't care like he just doesn't <laughs> I mean, I don't. I get, dude, there's so much stuff that got left yeah. at the house when we moved out, and it's all in the shipping container now. Are we allowed to talk about one of the ideas that we had for how to get rid of all the stuff that Michael left behind? Uh, was it? It was like a all the drones. A charity auction. It was a charity auction. For ah. <laughs> Are we allowed? To, we might. We might cut that. Out. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's funny. But uh, wait, what if we just replace it with the turtle sound and yeah. it cuts back? <laughs> That way it looks like a spoiler. But then it's the one that no one ever finds out about. <laughs> it's like that's that's how good of an idea it is. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. I did sell all the uh, the nut shirts. Oh, as like on like part of cat wear. Huh? Yeah. So he, there was a bunch of nut shirts that he didn't want anymore, and I just had them in the storage unit for so long because <laughs> so it's like right in the pandemic, and I was like I had two storage units, and I was paying like way too much I was like, what do you do with that much stuff it was like an entire mm -hmm. house worth of stuff and so they were sitting in the storage unit for it must have been like at that point a year or two and i was like i think i don't know if i asked him if you want to, i don't know maybe i didn't ask him i don't remember i just sold them i signed them all with my name <laughs> and then i sold them <laughs> they were just sitting there did they sell well the people yeah they're all gone. i don't have any more they're all gone they're <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you sign things. I, I, <laughs> it's I, me. I added the value. <laughs> <laughs> that's such Was a good it on your push. store too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to do merch like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Well, I feel like you kind of have. Oh, wait, with the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because I own that trade. Oh, it's that different. Is it's different. I, I have half of mine. I kind of want to think of a way. Like the problem is I I don't really have a direct contact to Adam Savage. Yeah. And I don't know if he would be like open to There's it. There's no like Mythbuster hotline. No, no. That all the other Mythbusters have access to. Well, if there is, the I don't have access. Yeah, the real <laughs> I'm not I'm not one of them, so I don't have Ooh. that. But I think it'd be cool to like essentially like like Give him a license to use the trademark so that he, like tested could sell uh, official uh, Mythbusters <laughs> merch in their store. <laughs> Just no T-shirts. Yeah, and I would, <laughs> no, I would I would let them have it for like a like a small percentage. Okay, and then they one hundred percent. Yeah, a small one hundred percent of the sales, <laughs> and then Adam would actually be able to sell Mythbusters stuff. What if he shows up to the maker event, the uh, mm. the open sauce? Have Have you? We talked about it on the last pod. 
two podcasts ago. Have you we, reached out to him or anything? I have his email, but I have not tried. I just sort of, I feel like I, if I have to try too hard to get somebody on board with something, I just kind of give up. And I think that's that he might be one of those people where you'd have to like, you know, I don't know. I think we'd have to pay him a lot of money. Yeah. And it's, at that point, it's like, it's like, okay, you don't, I, I don't know. It's like, nah. or a license to use or, Mythbusters oh, merch. We could do a trade. Yeah. Tradesies. Yeah. I'll see. Maybe by the time this episode comes out, we already got him. If not, <laughs> I'll reach out. <laughs> well, he does watch this podcast. No, wait, no. Does he? No, he doesn't. No. Okay. no, there's no way. <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of relieved. Like I found out my dad watches this podcast and that Does was he already, actually? yeah. Uh, <laughs> he I says he that. watches it and it helps him fall asleep. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I love that you could like name Thanks, any dad. person that has like authority and respect and is generally like well liked and say that he <laughs> watches this podcast and it becomes a joke automatically. <laughs> 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 like the the podcast is the punchline that anyone would actually listen it's, to. It's, this. it's our greatest joke. Is the, is the safety of their podcast? And if they do, they would never admit it either. <laughs> it's like, we're like the dirty secret. <laughs> Did you know that we're now number seven <laughs> top science podcast? No, or is it twelve or ten? It's pretty close. <laughs> What? Yeah. You're just lying now. Did you know that we're the most we're number to one podcast in the entire world? We just 12. Oh, 12. 12. I thought I thought that was three. You know, I was like, it's a weird way to say yeah. three. We were like 25 or something. Okay, we're, like, we're climbing up we, the ranks. Climb. We're, Wait, we're who's slowly... number 11? Can we shit on them? Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. How do we? Who do we? How do we find them? And how do we make them disappear? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna claw our way to the top. <laughs> I feel like we're like, you know, busting through like Pokemon gyms right now. We've got to yeah. go collect all the badges and number 11, you're next in line. Putting our hat on, twisting it around backwards and then realizing that I'm far too young to be out on my own in the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch number 11 be like some like new age homeopathic, like oh, completely no. pseudoscience, like <laughs> just barely in the science category. I mean, why are we in the science category? I think that... Is a very good question, but birth. apparently you can't leave once you're in a category. That's fair. I mean, That's we did fair. talk about biology earlier. We did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what would you classify that as? Uh, like sick, disturbing podcast? Yeah. Do they have one for that? <laughs> Do they have a, a category for uh, like disturbing podcasts? Um, yeah, like gross, bad podcast category. Yeah, what? It's the Art Bell Tape Vault is number eleven. What? How are we? Wait, we went to that? down one. We were at number eleven. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Look at down, down. Did they come one. up or did we go down? I think we went down. <laughs> Where, wait, which one is this? Art Bell Tape. What? What is that? It's all lowercase too. What is? It, what is it about? Art Bell what Tape Vault. I don't know. Who's Art Bell? What are the top ones? We've got like Science Fridays with NPR. Okay, um, we've got Vox oh, Unexplainable, yeah, NPR Science Shortwave, Friday? The Science of Everything, one. Science oh, of Versus, Star Talk Radio, Ologies with or Ali, Nat? Hidden Brain. Well, these are like actual science podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> Weaponized with J Jerry. Corbell and George Knapp. I actually would feel bad oh, if hidden, we were any hidden, higher on this. Hidden list. Brain. No, I think let's take down Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, oh, I he's number four. Star Talk. We don't want to go to him. We need to bring him down to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come down here, Neil. It's nice. It's nice in the dumpster. We know you want it. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Do you think Neil deGrasse Tyson listens to this podcast? No. Oh, yeah, he does. No Why wouldn't he? Well, because he only listens to the top ten. <laughs> He only listens to the top, the fourth top podcast. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit about number eleven or twelve. The only podcast he listens to is his own. <laughs> it's too bad how he kind of like, like I remember when Neil deGrasse Tyson was like the new, like he was going to be like the new Bill Nye the new or Bill Carl Nye. Sagan, like the new he and improved was the guy. And then he just kind of like started tweeting all that weird, like condescending shit. Yeah, and now he's just like. He's still like a science guy, but he's not like the science guy you want to yeah, hang out he's, with. Yeah, he's sort of like uh, the weird science guy that kind of like, um, what would, how would you describe that? Where it's like they're smart and they're capable, but there's just something kind of like. He's just like, kind of like, it's one of those like, um, like debate me or like I'm very smart. Yes. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson really likes Rick and Morty. 
Well, it's because he identifies with Rick. I also like Rick and Morty, but yeah, like in I'm a kind of a Rick way. myself. Exactly. Said exactly. He was. He gave a talk at uh, the the college that I went to once. I remember this moment on stage. I don't know why I remember this out of everything else he did on stage, but it was like so funny. Where um, he he like forget. What the fuck was that? <laughs> There's Diapers. a creature back there. So uh, <laughs> he was. He forgot a science word. He was trying to remember. A science word because he was answering like a question or something and then you could tell the crowd kind of thought it was funny because i think at that point like the tide was already sort of turning and it was like oh like the, this know-it-all guy kind of forgot this yeah. word the science word it was for it was like something about like now i've forgotten the word but it's like areola like, <laughs> it was like areola but it was more like but when you like physics based a series of asteroid impacts because a body a celestial body is turning while it's getting struck by a oh bunch of things okay and you mm. see like the path so there was like a word for that that he forgot and like that he could kind of tell the crowd kind of had was like doing a chuckle and so then he proceeded to like kind of defend himself and he was like well, well it's more important that we understand the concept than what the word for it is and then he kept going but i don't know i don't i can't remember a single other thing from his talk other than that moment the making the big deal out of it yeah, all right let's let's yeah. review some neil degrasse tyson tweets so. oh hell yes um this, i don't know what's better uh with the super bowl upon us would it be fun would be fun if all the vegetarian players in the NFL gathered to play in their own game called the Salad Bowl. <laughs> I take everything back. That's genius. That's that's a phenomenal tweet. <laughs> but the soup, the soup or bowl, soup or bowl, soup or bowl can or already be vegetarian. Could be, yeah, could be vegetarian soup. Idiot. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Anyways, next Neil tweet. <laughs> to be clear, the Chinese balloon was an authentic UFO until it was identified. Then it became an IFO identified flying object <laughs> this is like the kid in class who's just like shut up <laughs> <laughs> like i'm it is like <laughs> oh god this feels like a cop one not one bad apple cannot work as the metaphor if all other apples in the bushel are complicit <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. I don't actually yeah. know what that means. Well, the well, the problem is, is that one th bad that's apple. What the, that's oh. what this phrase actually is: is one bad apple spoils yeah. a bunch. He's just trying oh, okay, to okay. find a way to say it again, but with the word "complicit" in there. Yeah, so I, I, I think what does "complicit" mean? What does "bushel"? What does "apple" mean? <laughs> uh, I think it's the computers, right? Liberty, yeah. look that up. Is this like a what weird is quality? Apple? What oh is my god, like a, she's doing it. Like she's actually quality. typing in "what is an apple" into her phone right now. <laughs> What is Maybe Apple? Maybe you got a bad iPhone. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't trust that we actually... I mean, I wouldn't either, honestly. <laughs> what, what is an apple? An apple is an edible fruit produced by an apple tree. Oh! Okay, what's an apple tree? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're about to end up on what a Google support page feels like. <laughs> well, I mean, this is, this is what makes us a science podcast. Is we're exploring the... topics never before explored. <laughs> an apple tree produces edible fruits called apples. <laughs> Holy shit, we're well, on so to something. Then, Wait, what's, a, what's an edible fruit? <laughs> Which one was named first? Is it an apple tree because yeah. it makes apples, or is it an apple because it comes from an apple, apple tree? tree? Maybe we should call one of the top 10 science podcasts. <laughs> is there have. a way that we could get in contact with any of them? Tweet Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think, I think this is why we don't have a Mythbusters hotline, so we can't call <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many of these tweets can we read before it feels like we're making fun of Neil deGrasse Tyson? Um, oh, I I know the I know a, a person who used to write for Science Friday. Maybe they've gotten in somewhere. Not that anybody asked, but today is Friday the thirteenth, a day that's just as rare as Thursday the twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have this, Neil. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's like the teacher is trying to teach, and this, this is like fun fact, fun fact, Freddy in the background. <laughs> fun fact, Freddy. <laughs> to oh Jesus, this one. To live an affliction-free life, we must confess to nature that we're a sack of chemicals, occasionally or frequently in need of help from other chemicals to live our fullest life. I honestly miss the ones that were like more mean. He used to have some mean ones about like movies and Did shit. Did he delete them? I think they might just be old. Maybe he's turned over a new leaf. Like nerd sniping stuff? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't he wasn't... He, he like, bullied James Cameron into changing the Starfield in Titanic, didn't he? Because uh, it was, like... It was, like, 
he pointed out that the I don't know how he recognized like the in the scene in Titanic where they're in the water at night and you can see the stars the constellations are in the wrong positions for the year and the time of year it was how how did he figure that out because he's he's got the star but brain you know he didn't see that it was just like double check it I, right i don't know maybe well all i know is that like in the newer editions of titanic the star field is changed so it's accurate to the, like the date and, and there's time like of when three the people happened. that notice is that like one of those movie details i'd be that makes surprised it if more than neil degrasse tyson noticed <laughs> three is generous <sighs> He was just trying to get a free copy. Of Maybe it was like a, a glaringly obvious thing to an astronomer science person. I don't know. With like two two suns or something like a back in event. I don't know. Like this is actually the sky of Tatooine, you idiot. But like, like how upset do you ever get watching like a superhero movie where it's like something gets and they're holding the soldering iron by the yeah, tip? Yeah, like oh, yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, you like you go like oh well, that's dumb. But like, do you ever like tweet about it at the director of the thing? You know what I mean? Like the star one, I think is like. You can hide it pretty well. Like it's a pretty. It's like even an astronomer. It hides like, in plain sight by not being. Like I mean, like, you'd have to do. You'd have to research and figure out and like. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's a lot of work to come to that conclusion. Whereas holding a soldering iron by the tip is, you know, it's just sort of. Everybody's done that one once, right? Oh, yeah, the stock photo app. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same. It's, it'd be like a medical show as a doctor, right? Like, do you ever yeah. try to come up with like an internal canon for why things like something would be wrong in a scene? It's like in the first. Oh, Iron I movie, do that all the time. Like, there's like a weird scene where he's soldering like stuff to like the the prototype uh, jet boot, yeah. and it's on while he's soldering stuff to it so you, like you can see all the actuation and stuff i think yeah. that you have not learned how to make things i think that is that's like the peter Strickle, the final frontier of doing electronics is doing is it while it's doing on. It no, you, you, you know what i say i'm like wow he did that and there wasn't any huge sparks because <laughs> i've done that because he did a good job <laughs> yeah i'm like wow he is really smart <laughs> yeah <laughs> it comes back around it's like he's doing something so dumb yeah. that you'd have to be a genius like, to be able to do it and not break yes. it yes you can't hold a soldering iron while it's on from the tip but you could totally solder a live circuit you should i should do it i should get some like silicon gloves like thick gloves oh yeah and then solder all the <laughs> but they look like fingers they're like skin yeah, color yeah. yeah i mean well that way it lets you it gives you much finer control exactly your, like, your, your soldering surface oh, yeah. mount parts imagine and if you like, could solder like you write with a pencil yes that's w- that's that explains it, it's that. always kind of been annoying that they're so long like the tip sticks out so far and i'm like You're a gorilla trying to again? Like, <laughs> <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, Neil, not a Neil deGrasse Tyson tweet. This one I like because it's it's him responding to people telling him he tweets too much. Thanks to all the no's for lucidly sharing their objections. The no's? Like yeah, the- for, for lucidly sharing their objections. Shout out to the haters. I'm happy to honor <laughs> many of their requests to reduce the posting rate so as to not overdo overstuff all your feeds. I'll drop it to one or two per day. God, one or two per day feels like a lot too. God, how much was he posting? I guess a lot. Oh, God. Wow, nearly 40% of you on that poll want me to stop posting the quotes. Oh. <laughs> and he posts a screenshot of the poll. Holy shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually a genius meme. He's memeing himself really well, actually. I just feel like on, on, if you're tweeting more than like, like if you're, if you're pushing like more than two tweets a day, mm. I feel like. That's like, you should not like. I'm just really glad that like Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers and Carl Sagan never existed today. (laughs) I know. Imagine the tweets. (laughs) Like, oh God. Yeah. Just, it's something about like, like having the like 24 seven access and like just putting out that much stuff all the time. It's like, you're going to say some stupid shit. I'm so happy that like none of those people are alive anymore. (laughs) To ruin the legacy. (laughs) I think there's other reasons that we're glad Mr. Rogers yeah, is dead, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I'm honestly the uh, there's like a documentary about um, like sort of from beginning to end of his career, yeah. And it's honestly like I think it's streaming on somewhere, but it's there's a moment where he writes a letter to himself, so it's like you know it's available for archivists later or whatever. And he wrote a letter to himself about basically how like like how hard it was to like create things and how he kind of wanted to give up 
but he's like, well, I have to keep trying anyways. Like I have to like get better at this. And it's like, it's, it's just bizarre because it's like, it's something where you don't think about that, about, I guess, anyone who makes like a show or content or anything, but it's like, it was kind of weird to see like, oh shit, like 20 something year old Mr. Rogers was literally in the same boat of like a YouTuber, mm. like, like just trying to hustle and make videos. Um, I don't think I'm glad that he was not a YouTuber, yeah. but it was really cool Could to you see imagine that letter. The, like, okay, the the, the like, he'd be blippy. Yeah, he'd be like one of those kids' channels. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, not Mr. Rogers, <laughs> not blippy. Oh god, no. you gotta do you gotta do to pay the bills. Okay, I've got a tweet for you, and you've got to tell me who it is. Okay, I am learning new things at an incredible rate. Is it in the same category? Yeah, as Neil. Oh. I'm learning things I'm learning at an incredible as us. rate. Fast rate. As us? Yeah. Like this is a YouTuber? Like degenerate. Yeah, but better. Y okay. Um, smarter every day. Yes. Yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! I can't believe I got that one. <laughs> I bet you a tweet. I want to tweet. I am learning things at an incredibly slow rate. <laughs> I mean, because he's smarter every day, right? Of course, he would be learning things that incredible. As I feel faster. like I'm dumber every day. <laughs> <laughs> what, as opposed to a normal rate, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I I like this game. I like the game. You have to come up. You, you pull a tweet, and you have to guess who it is. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, I'm gonna find one. All right. All His right. brain is like one of those SpaceX tiles that absorbs yeah. pee at an incredible rate. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, went, we went to see spacex like a while ago and they showed us these like amazing tiles that they put on their rocket ship mm. and they're like look how much water they can hold and alan's like wow if i kept one of those in my car i could, I could pee in it pee into it forever it, the water space just age. disappears space age technology well it's just bizarre that like it could have that much like like open surface area on the inside of it yeah and then it doesn't like fall through either it like gets absorbed because that was spread the, out it was one of the insulation tiles right and that's why it's like yeah. such a good insulator yeah, like the heat insulation all yeah. right here we go i got one getting ready for a spooky evening and it's a picture of a man holding a pumpkin and that's like uh, within the realm of like stuff, science stuff YouTubers. made here and higher we're, we're going for kind of true like uh, science mm. oh um, Bill Nye. It's Bill Nye. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> as soon as you said higher, I was like, that's Bill. Damn it. <laughs> we bumped into him at a restaurant once, didn't we? Oh, it was after uh, Diana's movie thing. Yeah, we, yeah. We, it was his premiere of the movie of him. Yeah, where like he talks about in the movie how being famous is probably messing up his brain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I think it probably does. That was not a very good tweet to. I can't believe you got it. <laughs> like, what? what a meaningless, ambiguous tweet. <laughs> who, who said this? <laughs> I don't know. Nailed it. Damn, I feel like we got to prepare for this. Yeah, who else Can you got? find? It? You want to find some just find some weird tweets from people, and we'll try to guess who said it. The big brain move would be to find like one of our ancient tweets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. like, who's this idiot? I don't know. Yeah, like, some what a moron. stupid idiot. You know the comment I get on some tweets are like, Twitter William is different than video William. <laughs> Just smoked crack Will. <laughs> Just smoked. <laughs> it's just a I, diversity of branding. It's it's healthy. Tweets yeah. about smoking crack do far too well. Yeah. <laughs> Could crack you do like a know. data is beautiful graph with like engagement? <laughs> if you say the word crack in a it's tweet. Only crack tweets. <laughs> <laughs> only crack tweets. Crack tweets are cracked. <laughs> How much money do you think you'd have to pay Neil deGrasse Tyson to tweet, I smoke crack every day? <laughs> oh, is that the title for this video? Just smoked crack uh, on Safety Third? Did Neil deGrasse Tyson smoke crack? <laughs> just, just smoked crack with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Can you put him right here? I don't, can we put a pic, if we, if he doesn't appear and we just talk about him, can we put him in the phone? I guess people do that all the time, don't they? Kevin and I were trying to convince a, uh, uh, a cop to let us take a picture in the back of a car <laughs> shirtless. How'd that go? He didn't mm. want us to. <laughs> <laughs> we just, almost had it just though. smoked crack with the police <laughs> <laughs> it did get farther than it should have <laughs> I mean I feel like that's that's why you gotta keep $50 on you at all times in cash the cop will do anything for 50 bucks oh yeah I mean, it's like it's like we actually don't have crack bucks. can we can yeah. we do you have <laughs> do we, we have find, tweets you find anything good Liberty yeah what do we got alright it says Kim Jong Un is a fan 
and it's a picture of North Korea. <laughs> feels like something I, I might Kevin. tweet. Kevin. I feel like Kevin. Is it Kevin? Yeah. That's me. Kevin? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll okay, go with Kevin. Okay. I feel like that could be. I mean, you're not super active on Twitter. Not right now. There I was. I go through spells. I go through spells. Hmm. I, I think one of my best tweets was just the tweet that said, "I will never be canceled," and then the reply, a reply to you're myself. You're just like waiting. Said, Please don't the- screenshot this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how far she has to scroll down. She's really gunning for this, it. I think she's on Will's page because <laughs> okay, he's the only okay. one that tweets yeah, that Yeah, the much. older my tweets, the worse, the better they're going to be. <laughs> the more cringy they're going to be. I don't even know. I, mean, I, I got Twitter pretty late. I feel like I didn't really know what Twitter was. I still don't know what it was, but I really You must have gotten in later because I was like verified yeah, you, you came verified. in after the verification yeah. ISIS thing and then we all survived the collapse of the verification system right yeah, yeah. oh yeah what's twitter like right now i haven't really even it's just at it. sort of it's weird like back to normal kind of not yeah. really though it's like a little yeah. it's just a little weird i feel like there's just sort of like a weird energy on twitter didn't elon hmm. just fire someone because they suggested that his uh, numbers were low because i think that happens all the shit. time yeah <laughs> really it was like he he was like talking to a team of engineers about why his engagement was getting lower, and one of them suggested it was just because like maybe people just don't care anymore, and he got fired. That's what happens when you I tweet kinda, too much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, actually, like I stopped seeing him show up in my timeline, and I'm like, okay, nice. <laughs> it's like a gesture. I was just sick of like the drama. The like every time it was Elon Musk, it was about it was like drama. You know, it wasn't know. like some funny tweet. It was like drama. So I know people got tired. He of that. posts like. He doesn't listen to this podcast, right? I hope not. Maybe no. Um, if you are Elon, you post like like my great aunt on Facebook. I, he res- he responded to I think it was the Babylon B with like a laughing emoji, oh, and I was okay. like, oh my, it's oh a, no, on, bro, <laughs> it's a skull emoji. Oh now. no, you can't respond like that. It's a skull emoji now. Duh. Oh. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I don't even I I can't I don't even know the, the last emoji that I had to get caught up on was like the the bruh stone face the Easter Island head oh yeah emoji oh. that was the last one where I learned what it was yeah it means you're feeling sexy right oh god I'm I feeling like not. Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> I'm feeling like powerful I'm feeling I didn't no. even because I I actually texted Nigel with that emoji in context it made sense but then he said I don't know what that means <laughs> I was like no. <laughs> I'm in the cusp. He's double here, down but... and just keeps sending more emojis. <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> All right, what do you got? You can buy anything on the internet. Let me tell you. That's a will. That's yeah, a will. It feels like me. I feel like that's maybe when I was buying bones. Was it me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When was it? What was it? 2018. Accidentally <laughs> All right. I guess it wasn't bones. Oh, this was for like the items happening. Yeah, yeah. I have. I still one. have. Uh, a couple of taxidermy animals in my garage <laughs> that I have not opened. They're still in the box from eBay. And uh, do those go bad? Or do I, they... at this point, I'm too afraid to. <laughs> only... Is there a Best Buy date? You gotta open a the use box. Buy? <laughs> no, don't crack the seal. They're worth more. I feel like they would go bad faster out of the box. Right. Right. I still have a bunch of snake skeletons from that snake hat video. What if we, for the extra, we go to that, we go in the garage and we pull out the one, there's one in there that I have a feeling. Okay. So let me explain. This is the plan for the extra. Okay. In my garage, I have a taxidermied squirrel in the box the seller sent it in, but I think it might be a rat. I don't know, (laughs) but it's died to look like Pikachu. No way. Yes. I, I was looking. How have you not opened this yet? Because I, I don't know. This would know. be on my mantle. This is like. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a skunk. I we don't. This not, would be above the toilet. This, this is yeah, like. The skunk is for a project that we haven't done. It was going to be titled Teaching an Old Skunk New Tricks. <laughs> so I, got some I remember. <laughs> you yeah. told me this is a good yeah, video. Yeah. And then the uh, the other one is the, the, the rat. The Pikachu. The Pikachu rat. The taxidermy squirrel. Pikachu rat. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I think for the extra, I think we go to the garage and we pull open that box out and we open up the taxidermy Pikachu. All right, I'm down. Can we put I'm wheels in. on it? And we can guess how much I paid for it. Oh, okay, okay. So I stand by that tweet. You can buy anything on eBay. Okay. I, there was one. I don't. I don't. I don't. I really don't want to explain why I was looking at taxidermy stuff. There was like a coyote on a on a like a um, um, surfboard. N- no. What are, what are the snow- snowmobile? Snowmobile. Oh, like okay. A small snowmobile. It was a coyote <laughs> on a snowmobile. 
and they were asking i think that one they were trying to ask for like fifteen hundred dollars or something oh and was it, it like a full size a full oh uh, no it was like a mini snowmobile oh okay 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 yeah um but i was it's like who and why like how do you come up with that and, like i'm gonna take a coyote <laughs> and i'm gonna put it on a snowmobile there's a market for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it cro- thought crossed my mind. I didn't do it, but it crossed my mind. It's so. like so- someone who wins like a small lottery at a gas station, like a $20,000 lottery <laughs> ticket. Some Midwesterner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't win the, the mega millions jackpot, but they win enough to spend $1,500 on a coyote on a jet ski. I feel like this is something that you would get somebody as a gift. And it's like, it's like a white elephant gift. Like they have, it's yeah, like, where's the coyote? Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, eBay does have crazy. Maybe we, yeah, no, no. I think we're gonna open that, and then maybe we, maybe we look on eBay and see what else we can find for sale. <laughs> but do you do that? You've got a bunch of snake skeletons. So yeah, like, I have hundreds of dollars worth of dude, snake skeletons. I do the same thing. It's like you got the video, so you've got to like get a bunch of stuff, and like the video is always like you know you're running right up against the date mm. of the video ha- that it has to be published. Mm, so it's bunch. like you just buy a bunch of stuff in yeah. case something breaks. And now I have like four nitro engines that I'm never going to use. What? That's awesome. What do you mean yeah. you're not going to use them? Well, like, I don't know. I don't have Put the, them on something. Use skunk. them for teaching an old skunk new tricks. Yeah. Yeah. I think we could do really that. Cool. Are you going to bring like everything you've got over to LA? I think, so. well, not everything. What but, the, but a lot of things anything yeah. i could fit in like a small a medium because i, I kind of want to use this as an opportunity to like go through all of that junk that i've yeah. collected no I, i'm gonna clean i'm excited to so you're bringing you're bringing the laser for sure <laughs> yeah and four little nitro engines yeah and then your tesla coil tesla coil okay. both of them okay probably the the rocket knife oh that's cool just the one what that i Sandra? fired well I, I don't even know if i'm Is gonna be able to fit Sandra? a bed in yeah. this <laughs> u-haul <laughs> Maybe my 500 pound welding table, maybe the lathe, the drill press. Oh, a lathe would be cool. Yeah, you should yeah. bring a lathe. You should probably just sell the welding table. No, I'm going to keep it in the garage, okay. bolted to the floor, because I cannot move it. Dude, yeah, so that's, that's going to cost more to ship than it would yeah. to remake it. Because the lathe, a lot of we stuff. don't have. Uh, Jake's got that CNC mill. No, that thing, yeah, but dude, that CNC stuff's a pain in the It ass is. To you. There's yeah. something nice about just being able to hop on and like manually do something, because yeah. it would take you that long to like design the part. Number one, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. To put it into the three D. It's good if they do both. Or the CNC. Like if you could do both, like some of the converted mills, where you can mm. put a part on there, do it by hand, or you can put a program on. Yeah, there. I'm just trying to see how much of a workshop we can cobble together from everyone. I'm gonna, stuff. I'm going to yeah. buy a lathe. Yeah. Yeah, That'd I need cool. one. I yeah. was like, cool. when I was trying to machine the um, forks for the tractor, the forklift mm. conversion, uh, I borrowed a friend's lathe who is on BattleBots and. Mm their lathe they were like they said it was like the biggest part they've ever put like it was just like a two and a half inch like a uh, steel bar and I had to oh, bore geez. it out an inch and a half and they like they just sort of barely had the right tools to do it oh, so yeah, they had a crazy. boring bar and everything but it was all just like a little bit too short and so mm. i was like i was like grabbing right on the end of the oh bar. yeah and i was just going like really slow <laughs> it's like, like <laughs> Yeah. like skipping oh, god yeah so i've been super frustrated not having a lathe once you use a lathe it's like your world is unlocked and you mm-hmm. need to have a lathe because they are extremely so, useful so oh, i want to get there super I useful wanna, i want to just be in the new world no it's, it's like it kind of corrupts your brain actually because <laughs> you start like this is what a lathe does to a man everything is like a problem a lathe can solve and like the, awesome. this tractor there, or the the excavator there's a bunch of um like i think broken seals that I don't even know how to buy. Like Bobcat has supplies mm-hmm. and stuff, but like they, three O rings are like fifty dollars from them. Are they? What are they made out of? Like I think they're just like butyl. Like they're just like neoprene yeah. rubber. But the problem is they don't tell you what they are, and they won't tell you how big they are. So you literally oh. have to take them out. Yeah. And then measure them. And, and that's then go even find. if they have it in the catalog. Yeah. And that's even if you can find it in the catalog. It's like they don't give you any specifications because they want you to buy it, but then they yeah. also don't have all the parts. So there's like some stuff where I might have to rebuild a couple of the control valves. I still like the, the yeah. hydraulic valves. And it's like, oh, this whole assembly, you have to buy this whole assembly. It's got like metal parts and stuff in it. It's like, I don't want the metal parts. I need a little stupid plastic ring mm. that is sealing that cracks yeah. after 20 years. Because what was it? It was, it was part number, assembly number eight in the control valve. Yeah. So if and anybody like, knows. You search for it and it's like, they don't have it. Right. And now it's like, okay, cool. So you'd have to like call them and be like, I need just this one part. Or mm-hmm. what you do is you probably have to just take it out of the damn machine. Then you buy some plastic on McMaster mm-hmm. and then throw it in the lathe yep. and machine your own little plastic seal. Like it's just. That's cool though. So I want to get a lathe. Yeah. I want a CNC plasma too, especially with the heavy equipment. Like CNC plasma yeah. sucks mm-hmm. unless 
you're making big shit. Jake's yeah. got a really. I, I don't think it works anymore, actually, because he like left it in a shed in the backyard, and I think it just like rotted. Well, because he can donate it he to doesn't us. Doesn't have. We'll take good care of it. He didn't have a dedicated like 220 supply for it, so the only way he could turn it on was with like a generator. He had like a mm. diesel oh. generator back there supplying it, and the problem is the generator was left outside this entire time, and I don't think that works anymore. Uh-huh. But he does have one that's like, it's Jake is the poorest person i've ever met who is successful on youtube yeah <laughs> yeah he Jake's, he reminds uh, me a lot of peter yes yeah like very much like there's a lot of qualities about how they build stuff that are like really bad but in a way that is also really good just got it done like it's sort of the opposite of engineer brain where they just do it instead of sitting there on the computer yeah. for 12 hours trying to figure it out. And it's I like, think YouTube really rewards that. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> like, it's, it really it's, rewards that. It drives me nuts because like I have such a hard time. I have like, like major like, you know, decision paralysis where it's yeah. like, um, I mean, you saw what I did yesterday with the vent for the computer. Oh yeah, case. it's like, do I make it longer? Do yeah. I like, yeah. So it's then, like this little vent for do the Do I just print an CPU extension? Cooler. I used for my old computer, but I built mm-hmm. a new version of it. But the case I got was the bigger version, which is the one I should have bought for the old computer. And I didn't realize this. I reprinted all the plastic parts I had made for it. And they're slightly too short. And I was like, oh, do I reprint the whole thing? And if I'm gonna reprint the whole thing because it's a duct and it's got curves, I could like regenerate it. And yeah. essentially, like, change the geometry and have mm-hmm. all the curves regenerate. So it's like a gradual, like, curve. Yeah. And, and like, or, meanwhile, Jake is already, like, just, yes. like, broken it in half and re glued it he's with got, hot He's glue. got some, like, duct so tape. I was yeah. at Kevin, and Kevin was like, Cardboard. just print the extension. And so I just, I took, like, the bottom edge of, of the part in CAD and I just extruded it two and a half inches <laughs> and didn't join the bodies together. Uh-huh. Put, like, a couple of, like, little flanges so that uh-huh. it, like, kind of fit in place and then printed it and it's now it's glued together. And it you was know, like, yeah. The first thing I noticed about Jake's uh, Iron Man flying suit like this thing that flies in the air that like the military pays god knows how much money for yeah. other companies to do one of the first things i noticed when he was showing me the like carbon fiber body as the backpack i was like why are all these screws different jake and he was the like screw jar he was, yeah he was like he was like oh these are just the screws that i had <laughs> Yeah, I, I, <laughs> it was like, it was like, there's a flathead, there's a Phillips, there's like a different Phillips. I was like, he just like you know sweeps what? his garage every once it, in a while. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He got the job done yeah. two days yep. sooner, yeah. and you're you're over here sitting on McMaster looking for the one screw that yeah, will be like, perfect. Do I need these to be grade eight? eight? Or yeah, I was I? just thinking. <laughs> Jake Jake goes and finds the three inch long screws, and then he gets an angle grinder. Goes. <laughs> 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 Or if you're on the lathe, you can just make your own right there. Oh, make your own screw. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Custom screws. Every once in a while. Yeah. Jake's got a lot of that uh, backyard scientist energy yeah. going on. <laughs> I, especially the leaving the tools out in the rain part. Like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Like I remember seeing Peter's Fusion 360 model for his first plane. And the it one was, that he flies it in. It was all high level. It was at the top level. So there was no components or anything. Uh-huh. Every single part was like a body. And he joins just, them all together. It was just a, like a mess. I mean, I feel like that's exactly how Tinkercad works. So yes. I'm not even surprised. But it was an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not saying you can't do that because I do that. But like an airplane has a shit ton of parts and it would make sense to have components. And I was like, Peter, what is this? He's like, you should be you should you should be using components and stuff to help organize like the sub assemblies. And uh, he was like, Oh, and then I, I still don't think he's ever done it. Like, no. He's no. like, no, just just all top level, just But it flew. It flew. It, it flew that's once. True. That's all it needs to do. Yeah. So I, I, that's why I feel like I do things wrong a lot of the times. There's a better way. When you build way. things, you kind of think of like, how would this like end up getting mass manufactured? Yeah, and what would, and them. what would be like the end user experience for this part that I'm making once for one YouTube video that you nobody's going to see? I, I want to do, if, if we have like a really cool like workshop <laughs> and fully tooled out machine shop. What, it's going to be I destroyed immediately. <laughs> Where'd all the drill bits go? <laughs> oh, sorry. I melted them because I needed to make a custom screw. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to form the Put hole in the sheet on metal there. to have... I was trying to form the metal out. So I'm I like, what if we had a drill bit? backwards. I stuck it in there backwards and just ran in friction, friction, friction yeah. drilled. I had to... I mean, 
there was uh I, i'm making those jump boots right and the motocross boots that i got like the bottom i didn't realize there was like metal in there which was cool i was like oh, oh yeah they're really strong and i was like i just need to drill four holes and then i realized like oh wait this is like some kind of fucking spring steel you know like it was oh. like the first time i tried to drill into it like work hardened and i was like yeah. wait a sec no i remember how oh. this works yep <laughs> like trying to drill holes into like knives mm. you find out really yeah. quick that it's like did yeah because you, you've done yeah. that too yeah 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 yep. and it's like holy shit how is this the world's hardest substance i know it, at the <laughs> in the moment when you're trying to get through it's like what is this it's like a diamond or something <laughs> <I> no <know. laughs> like no matter what kind of like normal steel you throw at it it just you can't do it. I tried to get away with using like the cheap masonry bits from Harbor Freight. Oh yeah, that's carbide. like kind of yeah. It still didn't go. I really? had, did I, you sharpen I had, them? I tried, but I don't know if I did it like on the right. Oh yeah, edge. Like it's hard. I just gave. I, was, I spent like an hour trying to go through that. I was like, I'm just gonna buy a more expensive masonry bit, and it went through like. Oh really? Butter. It was nice. So pathetic. <laughs> yeah, but I if we have like a fully decked out thing, I would like to just like in my spare time or whatever, I want to make like everyday appliances but like simpler and to last forever like i would love to make like like a really industrial like like upright vacuum cleaner just what, like what fully i feel like this oh, is some yeah. trauma you just had some trauma recently well because it's like you know you buy like a vacuum cleaner now if you buy it it's supposed to last for like three years yeah. I guess it's mostly because I have I have like a, a knockoff Roomba. I have like a like a you know third party brand Roomba, and it's just awful now. And I was just like looking at fantasizing like, what if this whole thing was made out of like brass? What if oh, all the parts would cool. last forever? And I have never... I have a way for you to get to take revenge on the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, how? It weighs about thirteen thousand pounds and has tank treads. Oh, do you need a little <laughs> cathartic? You need to get what that out of your system. The, you want to show who's boss? No, but little Roomba still kind of works good enough. You just, gotta, just I mean, you got to sort of take it out of its misery. Yeah. It's like grandpa's still like kind of alive. <laughs> you got to take it out. I don't know. I just want like just a, a solid metal Roomba that will never break. You know what I just bought? What? I bought skylights. Okay. So I bought two okay. skylights and I don't have them yet. And <laughs> they have uh, they have blinds so they can like um, it's like electric blinds to come down to okay. like make it more slightly it's not like it's it's like light filtering they call it. It's not blackout, okay. it's light filtering. Mm. Okay. And um, they're they're electric, so they're mm -hmm. they actuate electrically. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, Okay, cool, I want the hardwired one. And they're like, Oh no, we only have the solar charged battery one. And I was like, what do you mean? It's installed permanently on a building. What, what do you mean it's solar powered and it has batteries in it? They're like, yeah, um, it's got batteries in it and it's solar powered. And, and so it charges the itself. Only and have. that's the only option. And I was like, and they're like, yeah, we discontinued the hardwired one like 10 mm. years or five years ago or something. And I was like, okay, how long does that last? And she was like, normally the batteries last about like, I think she said like five to 10 years. And I was like, okay. Okay, and then how hard is it to replace? It's like, oh, you have to replace the whole blind unit inside of the no user oh, serviceable oh, parts no. inside. I, I was like, I was oh, sitting there like, no. I'm going to install a skylight that has an electric blind inside of it that has a battery that's charged via solar power, even though it's attached to a building that has power. And in five to ten years, when the batteries die. I'm going to have to take the entire blind unit out and replace it with like another eight hundred dollar yeah, blind. Yeah, that's amazing. Just like put a little thing there that you can slide open, pull the eighteen six fifty cell out, yeah. and stick a new. And one. You know what she said? She was what? like, "Oh, but there's like a thirty wow, that's a really good idea. tax credit because it's solar." Oh my god, <laughs> that's. So and I was like, good. I was sitting there, and I was like, I just ordered them. I just ordered them. <laughs> I just ordered them, and I was like, I guarantee I just, you can change the battery before you install it. Just just well, bring I two mean, wires down. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what if I like run wide? But you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna install them, and then five years from now, I'm just gonna no never, Dremel uh, Dremel out of space. Yeah. Open or close. Dremel out of space for the battery. Maybe in but maybe even five years. You just literally signed up for a uh, like a subscription service for your skylight blinds yeah. for, for future. We will. were looking at the heated floors last night, and yeah. we were looking at the thermostats to control it. And they had like the Wi-Fi connected one. They had the super smart one, and now uh, then they had one that was like a little LCD, and it was the dumb one. And I was like, I want the dumb. Yes. Give yeah. me the yes. dumb one. I want yeah. the stupidest temperature control yeah. you have. Like none. Yeah. Like why would you ever connect your heated floor to the internet? I, I have a friend who uh, they've got a smart thermostat and for whatever reason between between them and their significant other like 
the thermostat is doing something weird where like the settings yeah. are for in, it's like like a someone, home in a way yeah home in yeah. a way yeah but for like for whatever reason it thinks that there's only one like there's only one cell phone that's connected to it so when one of the people leaves to go on a trip or go shopping or whatever, the house thinks no one is in there anymore, even though there's still one whole ass human person still in there because yeah. it's not the phone. And then the the house will go into nobody's home mode and it becomes either entirely too hot or too cold yeah. because it stops trying. And they, for like the last month, like several months, like trying to figure out how to like make it recognize multiple phones as humans in the house, it just refuses to. Mine, I had the the Nest Smart one or whatever the hell the cheap one uh -huh. is. It was creating a schedule every time you would change it. It would create like keyframes in the temperature. Oh, oh no! It was like trying to learn. <laughs> yeah, and I was sitting there and I was just like, I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, the temperature like just starts changing and it would be like, and it was on a weekly basis. And so it, like some you wouldn't even find out till like yes, next Tuesday. Yeah. And I was I was losing my mind. I was like, what is happening? And I finally I finally went into it. I was like, it has to be like creating a schedule or something because there was I, I have a coffee grinder that does the same damn thing. <laughs> It creates, it creates this massive like interpolation table. It's, yeah. It is hell. Yeah. It's hell. And so you change it once and it's just, oh God, it makes me so mad. So I just, I, I, I don't remember what I did. I think I went in there and I just like manually entered mm -hmm. frames. And then, so it was like at this time, cool down to here. But I, whatever I did, I haven't had the same problem because it would be like just a roller coaster, like up and down. I would pay a significant amount of money if there was some like, like some umbrella federal government service yeah. to just like oh, everything man. that you use from now on, if you pay like for the TSA pre-check or whatever equivalent to just have things be dumb. Like if I could pay one fee so that every time I check out, it doesn't ask me to sign up for like whatever the store's like loyalty tracker thing is. Yeah. If I could just pay and leave, I would, I don't know. I'd pay like a hundred dollars a month if yeah. I could get covered by everyone to leave me alone. That would be <laughs> just, dumb. Oh yeah. Just, just give me the the thing that I need yes. and nothing more, please. Yes. Your your thermostat is like okay. He set it to seventy five degrees <laughs> at, at twelve o'clock and then sixty five degrees at one o'clock. So I'm gonna make it um twenty degrees yeah. <laughs> at twenty degrees at midnight. <laughs> it's it just. It's so bad. Like I'd, I'd, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's. I feel like I just would complain all day about appliances where like they try to make the fancy features mm -hmm. instead of making the damn thing work. Yeah, yeah. But what we need um, is solid brass appliances that last yes. forever. <laughs> Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, Liberty's telling us it's time to go and uh, dig out the <laughs> Pikachu taxidermy. Okay. <laughs> She seems more excited what than us about it. What do you expect, Liberty? What do you think Pika we're going to... Pikachu. 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 Here's Pika the name. Thank you to Pika our Patreon Chew. supporters. Pikachu. Was there enough time for the names or do we need to... Let, thank okay, you. So we need thank to you to everybody on Patreon yeah. who supports us. I really thought that was going to be the end, but if you wanna, the names are scrolling. Yeah, this is if you want to see us unbox a dead rat painted like Pikachu, oh, here's come over and support oh, us on Patreon. Grab this name. And wait, Kevin, wait. Kevin, I'm going to toss this name to you. Put it in your pocket. Hold on. Oh, oh put it in the garbage. Put the name in the garbage. I still, I still, oh, oh, it's really wriggling there. It's, oh, God, I can't open that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. There, you got it? You got no, it? No, no. You got it? It's this, this side. There's, this side. there's two tiers of support on Patreon. Will, the first tier gets you access you to our right, private I'm, Discord I'm, I'm, server I'm, I'm, where you can come in and ask us questions very that we regularly oh, answer on our Patreon extras that we record after the podcast. Let me go get the name. I gotta Is get the name. Our second tier here? gets you that okay. benefit, but it also gives you a, a Polaroid oh, no, every three months of support <laughs> of one of us, and it's signed. If you would like a signed Polaroid of one of us, that is a thing you can get on our Patreon. I hope that was a good, I did a good job selling it. Then there's the third tier where you can buy bagged farts. Wow. So far, nobody's signed up for that tier. <laughs> Somebody's got a lucky name. Whoever's in that bag right now. Very lucky person. We can open it at a later date. Okay. Oh, we're... <laughs> we're gonna ask a future guest to open this bag. You almost kicked the clam chowder over. That was close. Oh there's literally, this whole time, <laughs> there's just an open can of clam chowder. How long has this been open for? 
It smells fine. To the editor, I'm oh, sorry. No. I'm sorry what I put the editor through. No. You want some? Maybe. It's actually, he's not kidding. It's actually clam chowder. Is it okay? When Was did it just open? Who opened? Okay, actually. Gonna eat a potato. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 